just think there's a certain innocence about this movie, you know? There's a simplicity to it, and, uh, and you know, basically it's about friendship, and it's about, uh, it's about loneliness, and, uh, you know, Robotnik has a, a, a sonic-shaped hole in his heart, you know? He, he, he wants that thing, whatever it is, that power, but he thinks he wants it for the wrong reasons. He just wants to control the world. And, uh, you know, re really what he needs is that childlike innocence and electric fun, you know? and he'll never have it. Yeah, so in my head when I read the script, and uh, I, I figured he was like a little kid, a really excited little kid that never really got to go out and do the things he wanted to do in his life, and then finally had that ability. So all that energy and all that excitement uh, g goes towards that, and it was really fun to play him like that. Yeah, in 1991, I played the Sonic 1, and then Sonic 2 when Tails was in there, and then Sonic 3 I played a little bit and had Game Gear, I did it all. I was a huge video game kid growing up, so it was big. It has comedy, it has drama, uh, it has Jim Carrey being unbelievable. It's just like kind of everything. It has the emotion, it has the set pieces that Neil Moritz is amazing at, so it kind of has everything. It has an attitude. It's not just the character itself, but you know, even in the old games, when you wait too long, you tap his feet, or at the beginning, you wag his finger, or you get bored and stuff like that. So the idea that there's some attitude behind the characters really brought like that side-scroller game to life. Oh my goodness, I wouldn't fly anymore. i just run on water and go everywhere. I w there's so many places I want to go in the world that I haven't been yet. That's what I would do. i just keep running around.